Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Product Chronicle 2013 in Munich, and I'm joined by Coco Zhang from BTU. Coco, thanks for stopping by to chat. Thank you, Philip. Always nice to see you, and unusual to see you here in Europe. Yeah, yeah, what right. Are, what are BTU promoting here at the show this week in Europe? Uh, yes, at, at this uh, Prodotronica show, mm -hmm. it's the first time we uh, we present our new oven, Dynamo, okay. um, to the uh, our visitors in Europe. Okay, uh, and that's a, that's a a different offering to the to the Paramax, but kind of from that family. Yeah, Tell yeah. Tell me where that's targeted in the market. Yeah, you know, uh, I think because we are in Germany right now, I think I, I, I can easily say it in a way that German people German people can understand and also European people can understand. Because if you if you look at cars, we, we have a full-size car and a compact car, right? Mm. So when we look at our product, Pyramax is a full-size car. Dynamo is a compact car. Okay. Uh, like my, myself, I feel guilty because I drive a full-size car myself. Uh, I'm not really proud of that because I feel that um, me driving alone in a full-size car, it's not very environmental friendly, mm. especially in Shanghai. And also, it, it, I need to pay a lot of gasoline every every month, and in Shanghai, parking is crazy. Yeah. So I, I uh, so I'm thinking of switching to a compact car, and with with compact car, you parking is easy for me. With the, my parking skill is terrible. Yeah. And also, it, it I don't have to pay so much for for the for the for gasoline the as well. Yeah. And uh, uh, oh, it's true that with a compact car you have a smaller engine, but really with a smaller car you feel the same experience mm. of driving. The only difference is that you 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 are a little bit squeezed, but it's enough for my size. Yeah. And um, the the reason we want to differentiate uh, between uh, Pyramax and Dynamo in in this way in this throughput in the size of board is mm. that the, the 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 demands in the market has been polarized yeah and we, we have been looking at the market okay what what does american uh what, what do american customers want what do european customers want in europe like german customers and, and eastern european customers are different in, yeah. in china chinese company and taiwanese company they are totally different so but there is one universal requirement is that uh, on one side of, uh, of uh, reflow uh, requirement, there are customers who are very demanding on the flexibility they can get. Mm. Uh, they, are, they, they want the oven can, to be able to do what they, can, they want us to do now, but five years from now, they want the oven to be able to do what, what they, they are then. going to develop yeah. on, the, on the IC design yeah. or whatever. And uh, and also on the on the server boards, it's it's the same. They are very demanding. Mm. They, they they want your oven to be a rocket, um, really. And but on the other side, um, there are a lot of customers who are so price sensitive, and we cannot blame them because we pay less less for our phones with more yeah. and more functions, yeah. right? So they have lots of pressure on the on the pricing side. And for us, what we can do for them is really to provide something that they are looking for. Yeah. So we, okay. we, we came up with a product that they can afford, but at the same time, they can also have Pyramax performance, which is which has been proved by the, by yeah. the market. Yeah. Yeah. So if we carry on the car analogy, when I change from my, my big car to my, uh, my more compact car, I still want the same build quality. I still want a brand that I can mm -hmm. trust and rely on. Yeah. I still want the service back up. Um, and to be honest, I still want as many of the features as I can have. I still want my air conditioning, I want mm -hmm. my, um, my stereo in there, I want all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Does that follow through with your analogy? With the Dynamo, do I still get that? Those things I've kind of learned to expect from BTU or the Paramax, do I, can I still have those? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, what, what, what you will have with the Dynamo is, is that I think what you will not have from well, with the Dynamo, what you will not have from compared to Pyramax is is that you cannot run a large board like uh, like a server board. Yeah. But with the board up to 80 inch, you can easily run it, mm. and you can get the same performance as Pyramax. Okay. Um, the the reason I can I can be so confident to say that is that when Dynamo prototype came out, we used the entire same method and, and a test tool to t test that, that Dynamo. 4 inch 80 inch board to make sure that it has the same 
capability with with uh, with uh, a full size car, but mm. it's a little, a little bit smaller. Okay. And also um, the uh, on the functionality, Dynamo doesn't have a functionality that Pyramax has just for semiconductor packaging. So I would recommend customers who are in semiconductor packaging, yeah. please go buy by Pyramax. Pyramax yeah. uh, like uh, a lot of times they will want to have um, O2 level um, to as low as below 10 ppm. Yeah. But for SMT users, it's it's ridiculous. There's no way they're yeah. going to need that. Yeah. So um, Dynamo can can uh, meet their requirements. We can go as low as um, under 100 ppm, which is right. more than enough yeah. uh, what for SMT uh, industries uh, need. So. So, Dynamo has everything a, a demanding compact car lover yeah. needs, and also you don't have to pay for redundant functionality yeah. that yeah. that semiconductor packaging yeah. requires for. Yeah, you don't have to drive around with the empty seats that that you would in the car. So, lower energy consumption. Yes. Smaller footprint, easier to park, better on the production line, yes. and those kind of things. Um, one of the themes that's coming through this week in, in Munich is discussion around Industry 4.0, around smart machines connecting to smart lines and smart supply mm. chain. We, we talk a lot about closed loops between printers and SPI and how they talk, perhaps communicate, and data goes backwards and forwards to the uh, placement machines. We don't talk so much about the, um, the ovens in that way. Is there an open communication method and a collaboration to, to get the line all working together? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we have a few options for both the Dynamo and Pyramax. For example, we have Gemhost, and we, we also, we, our oven can also talk to uh, EMS um, software as well. So, and a lot of times we realize that our customers, uh, especially the multinational customers, mm. they have their ERP system. Uh, um, and if they use standard brand, we can easily, uh, our, our oven can already uh, communicate with, with the yeah. standard ERP system. Uh, but uh, in some cases, they will have special ones. They customize this. And we have a whole uh, group of uh, software engineers based in Barica, where our headquarters is. And they are, they are ready at any minute to work with our customer to okay. program our Wincom yeah. system so that we can smoothly communicate with the, their entire SMT line. Yeah, and it seems to me that only by having the whole line together can we not just speed up throughput, but speed up changeover, make mm. the line more efficient. So it's that, it's that whole communication is really important. Yeah, yeah and also um, the way we, the, the sales channel we have in Europe is, uh, is, is uh, uh, the, the way we structure here is that we try to, uh, um, we, we try to hire sales, sales reps who, are, who, are, um, who has a very um, perfect line with the, with the same uh, performance that Dynamo right. has, for example, on printer, on the yeah. place, we need to make sure that it's, it's that all the products are on the, uh, yeah, in the, at the same level. Yeah. And our um, sales channel, they are they're very professional on providing a whole solution to the European <laughs> customers. So they also help work together with us to make sure that what they're providing to the customer can fit in their um, operations requirements. Yeah. Okay, last question. The Dynamo we saw, I think, um, in uh, San Diego earlier in the year. We also saw it in, in China. It's been out in the market. People are using it. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Is the, the response has been good? People are using it? Yeah, um, people are very excited about it. Yeah. We have uh, installed uh, many ovens, many Dynamos so far in globally. Uh, we have more, I would say that the biggest market for Dynamo is in Asia. And uh, in Europe, it will be in Eastern Europe mm -hmm. and uh, in uh, South, uh, in, uh, in Americas, it will be more Central like and South. Yeah, Central and South. So, um, so big, because in this area, the um, SMT is more focused on consumer electronics yeah. where price is, is the most sensitive, mm. but in other regions, we, we, we also sell a few units to the other regions because well, even though the other regions like the, the USA or um, the other European countries, even though they are not so focused on consumer electronics, but they, they realize that they are, um, they are, their budget for, for their SMT line is lower and lower. Mm. And they found that Dynamo, if, if your board is, is not, not bigger than 18 inch, 
Dynamo can run yeah. perfectly. Yeah. So why not use Dynamo? Yeah. Yeah. So the, the market's feedback is very good. I think yeah. um, for, for, for us, we want to provide different uh, product and solutions to customers with different requirements. And uh, what we have been doing on the product marketing side is unique to, to this industry. Yeah. Uh, this industry, because it's so mature, and we don't see exponential growth anymore in this industry. So understanding customer requirements and categorize them in a way that our product strategy can work for them is very important. And yeah. so far, I think it's been a very good success yeah. on Dynamo this Excellent. year. And as you say, back to the, uh, the car analogy, if someone comes in with Dynamo, if someone comes in with a compact, it's an economic way to introduce them to the brand, get them used to the service, and get them to be a loyal yes. BTU user. So that's yes. good news too. Yes. Fantastic. Coco, thanks for your time. Lovely to see you again. Thank Look you, forward to seeing you next time in North America or, or Asia or wherever we are. Yeah, we see each other everywhere. Thank you. Yes.